Hello everyone, I'm Melissa New and welcome to What's in Your Bag. I'm here with Chase Reynolds with LensRentals.com. That's kind of a tongue twister a little bit. Okay. Right? Kind of? Did it I was on my right? tongue pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. I, I got it. it. I got this. And we're with Alan Hess, a concert photographer. Right. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's that's what I do. Amongst many other things. Right. Mainly I'm known for my concert photography and it actually happens to be my passion. And uh, I have a little bit of a switch going on, I'm doing a little bit more pet photography. But, what? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll touch that's that. Like... But it's the same kind of gear and the same kind of settings too. It's a really weird thing. Oh but, my gosh, really? that's amazing. Right. Well, Chase, you do a lot of concert concert yeah. stuff as well. I came from the music industry. I was doing production and touring, and uh, I, just hadn't, I always had cameras with me. So part of what I, how I got, I got started was just access. Right. You know, if you're the person with the camera and you have behind the scenes access, yeah. you get some really cool uh, shots. We don't like you. Yeah, you don't like, you don't like me because you're out after three songs, right, you're out of the right. pit, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, we've got some fighting words. It's okay. Out. It's okay. Well, I well, well let's talk. I'm going to kind of turn this to you. This is kind of your your thing. So what what kind of uh, let's let's talk about gear. Let's pull out the geek stuff. Yeah. All right. You seem pretty happy with that with that setup there. It yeah. seems to you know that's your your love. This has been well. This has been like my go to from originally when I started doing this back in, in the day. Film. It was an F5 mm -hmm. and the 80 to 200. And yeah. As a Transgressed and I went through all the crop sensors and the D2s and the rest of it and then the D700 came out and we got that full frame sensor back in a mm -hmm. decent price body and suddenly everything was like, oh my god, you know, I can shoot at 1600 ISO without having you know, to take out noise. That was like huge right. chunks. What, what do you look, when you look forward to the future, what kind of things are you looking to improve in cameras? Like for me, I never, I've never been a megapixel race person. I don't want massive, massive files. I kind of want them to do more with the pixels that we already have, especially when it comes to music photography. Low light performance of a camera is obviously really important. You mentioned autofocus, right? Well, the autofocus is still to me that they can still use improvement, and um, mm -hmm. the Nikon system is really good and it keeps getting better. But you know, you want I, I want a little more control over over the points that I use, and I haven't used the new group autofocus they have, and I, I hear it's. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's heading in the direction that I was hoping for. The, the biggest changes for me was always that they made this low light capability. It just got amazing, you know, where everyone else was going, oh, we need more megapixels. Someone went, let's, um, you know, let's just make that work at 3200 ISO or 6400 right. ISO or 25,600 ISO, you know, yeah. like when, and I've shot at 25,600 ISO and I've got usable images, yeah. which is wow. stunning. That's from a film guy. That, Even a couple oh, years yeah. ago, you would never be able to right. imagine doing it. Yeah, that. <laughs> you know, when it, it was that D3, you know, Nikon, when the D3 came out, it really changed. That D2 yeah. to D3 was like, oh, yeah. it, it, and these guys out there, they, they're like magicians, you know, they, they look at stuff and they do things that I'm like, I, I don't know how you do it, but I'm glad you do it. Um, yeah. <laughs> what I would like to see in the cameras, and this is something that, that D800 in crop mode was, I, I, I know that they put all the little focus points in that like middle part. Mm -hmm. Please give me focus points a little further please. out. Chase, make Actually, that. Would you make that happen, please? I will, um, because you're the second person that's mentioned that to yeah. us today. Well, because we're looking now, we're looking at different formats. So you, you know, the internet is it's no longer a magazine. We're no longer looking just nine by like twelve. Yeah. Nine by yeah. Okay. So we're looking at images, and, and sometimes you want to put something in the bottom corner and have a whole bunch of space here, or put something you know up on the top edge. You want you want your your focus point needs to be somewhere else, and okay. they're kind of limiting you. And in concert photography, we can't focus and then recompose because by the time you do this, the dude's gone. You sure. know, it's like so it doesn't happen. So I'm really limited to what I have in the middle, and then I have to crop. And I don't. The person stays where they were. Well, they have to stay there, and, and then I, I kind of have to, you know, then I have to take it in Photoshop and, and like get rid of all this stuff, and it doesn't always work. And so I really like to have more options. You can keep. You don't have to have them all next to each other. You can keep, right. you can spread them out a little bit, but just give me. I a need sixty four right there in this. Yeah, center. you know, it's, it's, and I know there's a whole bunch of technical stuff about how it focuses and it needs the light in the middle of the lens and all. And I don't care. I really that stuff is like. <laughs> you know, come talk to me. Just yeah, I just call me when it's done. Yeah, you know, move them around, and I and I, and I, I think that's that's really good. Um, the lens stuff has been insane. You know, mm -hmm. the coatings and the, the magic they do to the internal things. Oh, it's yeah. faster. I mean, those lenses now are just like you hit the button and the focus is just done. Yeah, like on it. Um, this one, um, that's I, I'm sad because this this lens doesn't focus that fast anymore. It's been repaired once or twice. Or oh. It needs to take another trip to the hospital and have it cleaned <laughs> up. You know, I'm done. Um, but the reality is that I'm I'm usually only at a I'm not focusing like near to far. I'm usually at a pretty fixed sure. area and it's going across, so it works really well. So it works. Are you doing any manual focusing in your work? Um, no. You're relying on the autofocus. I, I used to. I remember, you know, that split split 
pen and prism, you know, screen yeah. and try to line them all up. And, I'm, and it was like, that's great. Autofocus is so good. Um, and it's so, it's harder on the pets actually. Sometimes on the pets I have to nudge a little bit and get the autofocus, you know, kind of to pick it up because there's no, you hit a dog and it's all black. There's nothing there for it to, no contrast to look at. The concert stuff is usually if I pick a guitar and an arm or a face, I have enough contrast that the, um, mm -hmm. that the autofocus is just like on. Um, you know, and I, I'll be really honest, I don't do a lot of videos, so I don't really care about the video capabilities, but I know that the stuff that's coming out, I saw some of it and I'm just like, that's oh, beautiful. It's really like, yeah, it looks it's like, really oh man, I can actually do that with my, you know, with my <laughs> Well, you'll have to connect with Chase and definitely get some, some new gear. Yeah, that's, you know, I, it's like, I'm, that's, photographers, we like gear. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like having it's a good tool idea. chest. You know? Oh, and for if you, sure. If I'm, I'm, this is like, if I call this, like, this is the hammer and screwdriver, this is my basis. But mm -hmm. sometimes you need like you a need weird hex wrench, room. you know. And for you need, sure. Well, Alan, tell, tell the folks at home where they can find your work. Uh, Alan, or concert and pet work. Well, right, <laughs> right now it's alanhasphotography.com is my website and so most of it is all the concert stuff I do post um, things when I work at like Comic Con or I do some big event and I you know, I'll post stuff about that too I like gear I'm, I'm really like I really enjoy like yeah the, the mechanics behind Chase it. Chase is like, me too. We're going to hang out after this. <laughs> I know, get this girl out here so we can talk geek talk. No, I would definitely encourage you guys at home to check out alanhess.com. Check Alan out Hess his photography. work. alanhessphotography.com. alanhessphotography.com. It's A-L-A-N. A-L-A-N-H-E-S-S. H-E-S-S. Photography.com. Definitely check out his books. He's a great instructor, educator, um, but an all-around cool guy. <laughs> I, I, I feel that so. San Diego vibe, <laughs> but also he talked a lot about the Daikons, the 72 to 200, and Chase mentioned other gear that he uses as well. Definitely check out LensRentals.com if you want to check these out. Anyways, Alan, thank you so much for your time. That was a pleasure. Thank you.